Hi everyone, welcome to the KyoOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima, and today we're going to have look at a at a problem from a different perspective, right? And uh, we have solved problems with uh, else if solutions and uh, and design, and now we can do that in a different way. We can use a hash map, uh, uh, associate associative array. Uh, it's the same thing um, to decide something right so we don't have to keep maintaining or keep creating more uh else than if it's so if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos and i'm going to post the links from my previous one so you can keep it up so what we have here is <coughs> we have the install here right but now the install has a bunch uh, here it has only one but i could have if uh, rafael and then if half and then if you know in in the very different ifs i could have uh based on my teammate <coughs> excuse me i could have based on my teammates so i have 10 teammates so i would have 10 ifs so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new functionality called install v2. I'm going to say the same thing here. And I'm going to say install dependencies v2. <clears throat> I'm going to create a new function install dependencies v2 that is going to get a uh, local choice the first parameter I'm going to get the user it's going to be users it's the same thing that we're doing here I'm going to get the logs as well and I need to make this decision right so instead of doing this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare an array, declare a, an array, and I'm going to call it user options. And now I can say user options, and I'm going to give my user, Rafael Lima, and I'm going to say this is work and this is personal and this is just half now how can i use this right what what i need to do is i need to uh get the decision of my target computer so i can do target computer gets user options Right, based on my user, right? So I'm going to use user here. So my user know which the user, these are the options to decide what to do in each user. And I'm going to copy this. And now I'm going to execute BB. There you go. V2. So this is work. And now if I do user half, this is personal. All right, so now I can just copy this. So personal it's installing here on my personal the libs the same thing installing from my personal if i come here it's installing from my work and the software is installing from my work as well so it's installing here from my work right so now i have the thing that i that i can do right However, I can even make this even more simpler. I can change this, right? So 
this is a hash map on, on shell. This is the same thing that the load config does. Right, so we went look here in the conf and list. This is the same thing, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new config file and I'm going to show, uh, give the name of user options. I'm going to load here, load conf user options. And this needs to be inside repos because I'm calling load conf from repos. And now, I can just copy this, put it here, and remove all of this. It's going to complain here, but it does not matter. So let's see. Libs installing from repo libraries, installing software is installing from repo software. This was library. Right? So if I change here to a personal, installing from my personal software. And then libs is also installing from my library's personal. Right? So that's it. So you if if I have a new user, I don't even change, need to change any of the logic a a, 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 a else if it's something like this, right? So if I had put this logic in an L in an in an else in an if command, I would have to add a new elf else, a new if. This would be more complex, more complicated. So this way I I don't even need to change my code. What I need to do is I need to come here. So let's say now I in my case, let's say uh, I need to set up stuff on my wife's computer. So so my wife's name is Lorena. And now I can say uh, wife computer. So the only thing that I need to do is to add here and to add an extra file here called uh, repo software wife computer. All right. So in that, that that was going to be it. My wife does not have libraries because she does not work with IT, but she has software. So I would need I would need to have repo software uh, wife computer and that was going to be it, right? So if we simulate that, Lorena, it does not have the file, right? But it's looking for repo libraries wife computer, and that's it, right? So that's what I want to show you, right? So this is much more simpler, right? I could do the same thing here if I wanted to. I could do different ways of solving that, that problem. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. And I see you on my next video.